You've seen them out in public and all over social media. Some with PhDs from Marxist universities in places like Michigan, Wisconsin, Massachusetts, New York. Social justice activists shouting mantras learned from their Marxist college professors. They used talking points they got from their leftist professors in biology class or pre-med. The professors are fanatical Marxists. Dissent is never permitted. Questioning their dogmas is not allowed in their classrooms. Right on cue, the students repeat their professor's line. Race is a social construct. If anyone pushes back or even dares question the dictum, the activists accuse them of being a racist. The race is a social construct line is repeated all over social media. And there are multitudes of left-wing activists posing as scientists with social media followings anxious to reinforce the view. Professor Zach Hancock, quote, race realism or race science, proponents of these views say racial groups have real differences. This has been the view of terrorists, Nazis, and other racists, end quote. Quote, biological distinctions, why should we want to do that? Are there any racial classifications useful from the issue of justice and fairness? End quote. Philip Kitchener, Princeton University. Quote, we as a human race are all one race. We're all one. There are no races, end quote. Seth Shaggy, World of Paleoanthropology, YouTube. Quote, race is a social construct. There is no such thing as race, end quote. Bill Nye, the science guy. Lowington's Fallacy. Scientific American, Richard Lowington is arguably the most influential population geneticist of the 20th century. From Science.org, August 2021, Lowington, a Marxist, has been accused of tainting his science with his politics. His Marxism was a key component of his success at Harvard. Lowington is best known for his study released in 1972 Apportionment of Human Diversity. In the paper, he developed what is known as FST, Fixation Index. FST has become the basis for all left academic genetics research in the last 40 years. College textbooks have entire chapters devoted to Lowington and his FST. Lowington's main thesis, there is more genetic diversity within human populations than between them. The figure he uses is at 99.5% similarity. College students who study Lowington and the FST rarely challenge the thesis. Race as a social construct fits their global socialist outlook. They repeat the line all over Twitter, Instagram, Meta, TikTok, that humors are 99.5% the same. They shout down any dissenters. But the hard evidence does not match their dogmatic bromides. Humans are primates. Our primate cousins. The 
social justice activists ignore the fact that humans and chimpanzees are 98.6% genetically similar. Humans and bonobos are 98.7% genetically similar. There are four designated subspecies of chimpanzees, Western, Cameroon, Eastern, and Central. According to the National Primate Research Center, chimpanzees exhibit very little morphological differences between the subspecies. As opposed to different populations of modern humans. Chimpanzees, four different subspecies. Homo sapiens, no subspecies. Diversity within the animal kingdom. Curiously, Lowington proponents have little to say about taxonomic classifications within the animal kingdom. Variation within the bear taxa is legitimate, the social justice activists will concede. Polar bears, grizzlies, browns. They accept six different subspecies of tigers, Siberians, Bengal, Sumatran, etc. For example, baboonsanctuary.org recognizes five to seven subspecies of baboons. Subspecies okay for animals, but not for humans. Human genetics. FST is simply a formula for geneticists to measure heterozygosity or differences versus similarities within a specific population. Important to note, the scale for FST runs from 0, 0.0 to 1.0. Dr. Sarah Tishkoff of the University of Pennsylvania, arguably the most famous and widely respected geneticist in America. Professor Stishkoff uses FST as a basis for her model. Quote, FST between human populations is about 15%. The majority of genetic variation is found within a population. Only 15% of genetic variation occurs between populations. End quote. Continuing, quote, that reflects our last common ancestor in Africa, the last 50 to 100,000 years, end quote, Dr. Tishkoff. Tishkoff notes that the average FST among chimpanzee populations is 32%, which is notably higher than the 15% among humans. For 32% FST with chimpanzees is considered an entirely different subspecies. 15% FST with Homo sapiens is brushed aside as insignificant. Numerous other animal species have subspecies with similar 15% or 16% FST like humans, including pumas, jaguars, buffaloes. For example, the six tiger subspecies range in FST between populations from 16 to 31%. But, to the left bias scientists, humans are an exception to the rule. No human subspecies. Left genetics modeling, the fatal flaw. Dr. Tishkoff asserts in her YouTube lecture series that the FST of 15% is based on genetic variation, quote, reflecting our last common ancestor in Africa 50 to 100,000 years ago, end quote. Tishkoff and other geneticists derive their FST models from out-of-Africa theory, 
recent out of Africa, has been largely debunked and is now essentially obsolete. These models were developed before the discovery of archaic hominin DNA admixture in the modern human genome. Recall, Lowington's paper came out in 1972. Svante Pabo announced the discovery of Neanderthal DNA in the Eurasian genome in late 2010. The existence of Denisovan DNA was not even known until 2011. In 2019, the Sankararaman Dervasula UCLA study was announced, confirming up to 19% archaic common in DNA admixture in modern Africans. The fossil record has moved beyond obsolete genetics models. Homo naledi was discovered in South Africa in 2013. There had been uncertainty over the dating of the Homo sapien fossils in Israel, School, Kafse, and Mislia. It wasn't until 2019 that Mislia was confirmed to be an astonishing 185,000 years ago. Similarly, it was not known until 2020 that the Epitomen 1 skull in Greece was dated correctly to 210,000 years ago. We now know Homo sapiens were in Eurasia 300,000 to 400,000 years ago. This is a far cry from 50 to 100,000 years out of Africa model that Dr. Tishkoff and others believed. We also know now, thanks to Svante Pabo, that Europeans have as much as 4% Neanderthal DNA, possibly as high as 6%. As of 2015, we know Asians and Melanesians have Denisovan DNA admixture, with some Oceanian Islander populations as high as 7.8%. We now know, per Sankararaman and Dervasula, that Africans have up to 19% archaic hominin DNA admixture. That could be a late Australopithecine or even Homo naledi. The left geneticists may be fully aware of how much their data is off. Joshua Akei of Princeton University is a close friend and colleague of Dr. Tishkoff. In 2019, he may have attempted to do a little damage control. He released a study using an entirely new model. His team, he believed, found evidence that Africans have Neanderthal DNA too. The liberal media was overjoyed. CNN ran a headline story, quote, all modern humans have Neanderthal DNA, new research finds, end quote. But a K was forced to pull back from his claims when his research assistant admitted that their data was flawed. The hard evidence is now undeniable. Europeans have Neanderthal DNA admixture, Asians and Melanesians have Denisovan, Africans have archaic ghost, likely Australopithecine. But the professors are still teaching the outdated models based on Lowington. Publishers of biology textbooks still push discredited Lowington theories and obsolete human genetics formulas. And the social justice activists still repeat the line that race is just a social construct. We hope this video will inspire you to fight back 
against the social agitators who deny human biology. Thanks for watching, y'all, and please pass this video on to others. Take care.